In the previous topic, we have talked about uh, informal and formal selection systems. In this topic, we are going to talk about one prominent selection system, formal selection system, which are the assessment centers. So where formal selection is actually employed, uh, assessment centers are something that are usually uh, established in order to assess a person over various different uh, skills and abilities um, for a particular international assignment. Uh, so assessment centers and interviews are recommended as best practice in the literature. Literature suggests that if you want to uh, select a person for international assignments, uh, what you should do is that you should assess that person's ability in an assessment center and the, uh, also followed by interviews. Uh, what happens in, is in assessment centers is that assessment centers are structured facilities which are established by organizations in which people are assessed on various different activities and they are assessed on various different skills and abilities in, a, in an extended um, period of time. Uh, it is not something which is a 15 minutes interview. Uh, usually in assessment centers, people are invited and they usually spend an entire day, sometimes two or three days, in which they interact, in which they talk to people with the organization, they do different activities, they uh, participate in workshops, they participate in role plays, they participate in uh, discussions, they are supposed to talk about issues, they are supposed to engage, they are given challenging situations and they are interviewed by the, um, uh, uh, by the management and uh, human resource personnel of the people. So there is a selection board not just one person who assesses the ability of these people. Uh, skills which are evaluated in assessment centers, uh, one is the prior international experience and what the person has gained from that international experience. It's not just that, uh, okay, this person has got three years of international experience. What is the uh, outcome of that international experience? Is that person really somebody who can uh, culturally manage things well, who can connect with other people from different cultures. So what has that person gained from the prior international experience? Uh, then ability, what is assessed in these assessment centers is the ability to adjust uh, to foreign environment. This is something which is foremost, which is very important to assess. A person's soft skills, they are assessed then a person's intercultural sensitivity, how sensitive that person is towards different cultures, and then various different traits of his personality, for example, extraversion, for example, um, how that person responds to risk and risk-taking, and uh, various different dimensions of the personality as well. So these are the various different skills which are evaluated in assessment centers. Uh, so in this uh, chart, you can see that these are the tasks and exercises that are used in an assessment center. So in the column, you can see that the type of exercises which are used in the assessment center are, for example, presentation, uh, role play. The person may need to fill a questionnaire of uh, something which is being assessed. Then group discussion and case study may also be given to the person to analyze a particular case so that their ability to evaluate situations, different situations can be assessed. So presentation, role play, questionnaire, group discussion, case study, but this is not an exhaustive list. There may be other elements of uh, the exercises which could be done in an assessment center. Now you can see that on the horizontal row, uh, there are different exercises, the aspects which are assessed on these particular exercises. They are written down in the uh, horizontal row. And you can see that uh, what is being assessed is tolerance for ambiguity. Uh, then goal orientation, a person is oriented towards achieving goals or not. Then interpersonal skills, then empathy, a person is able to empathize with other people or not. Then non-judgmentalism, that is very much important. The person cannot be judgmental when you are 
trying to be interculturally cooperative and flexible then a person's flexibility overall flexibility to adjust to different situations and then meta communication communication of not just verbal communication but the overall communication of a person uh, so that is something this chart gives you a kind of uh, uh, orientation on how skills are assessed what type of skills are assessed in an assessment center and how these skills are assessed in an assessment center the next chart uh, gives you a complete list of the way an evaluation is done for a role play in intercultural assessment center so agar aap kisi ki intercultural ability ko assess kar rahe hain aur aap role play se wo assessment karne ki koshish kar rahe hain to aap uski intercultural assessment ki kya dimensions assess karenge wo aapko isme column mein nazar aa rahi hain tolerance for ambiguity interpersonal skill empathy non judgmentalism flexibility and learning orientation these are the six skills that you will evaluate for a person's intercultural adjustment and ability to adjust to a different culture so in the horizontal row you can see that there are examples for a high intercultural competence and examples of a low intercultural कॉम्पिटेंस तो क्या नजर आएगा आपको उस बंदे के रोल प्ले के अंदर जिससे आपको ये पता चलेगा कि वो किसी पर्टिकुलर डायमेंशन के ऊपर हाई रेट करता है या लो रेट करता है सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी विल डिस्कस वन और टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर टॉलरेंस फॉर एम्बिगटी एम्बिगटी यानी कि अनसर्टन सिचुएशन को टॉलरेट करने की एबिलिटी है किसी में तो आपको उसमें क्या नजर आएगा वो ये कि दैट पर्सन इज पेशेंट और अगर नहीं है so that person is impatient then if the person is high in tolerance for ambiguity what you will see is that the person shows a sense of humor he is light minded he is not too tight lipped he is somebody who is cheerful and therefore uses different type of humor while interacting with other people और अगर जो बंदा है वो टॉलरेंस फॉर एम्बिगटी में लो है तो वो आपको नजर आएगा कि बहुत सीरियस है वो किसी से बात नहीं करेगा वो आराम से किसी को जो है वो उसके साथ इंटरेक्ट नहीं करेगा उसके साथ जोक नहीं करेगा तो इससे आपको ये पता लगता है कि दैट पर्सन इज दैट पर्सन हैज गॉट टॉलरेंस लो टॉलरेंस फॉर एम्बिगटी एंड अदर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल एम्पथी सो अगर आपको देखना है कि Uh, कोई बंदा जो है वो एम्पथाइज कर सकता है दूसरे लोगों की प्रॉब्लम को समझ सकता है दूसरे लोगों को के ही कैन स्टेप इन टू द शूज ऑफ अदर पर्सन सो फॉर दैट इफ दैट थिंग इज प्रेजेंट व्हाट यू विल सी इज दैट द पर्सन पुट्स वन सेल्फ इन द प्लेस ऑफ द बिजनेस पार्टनर फॉर एग्जांपल एंड देन द सेकेंड थिंग वॉट यू मे सी इज दैट अवॉइड ऑफेंडिंग बिहेवियर वो लोगों को ऑफेंड नहीं करता वो लोगों के साथ जो है वो कंपेशनेट तरीके से इंटरेक्ट करता है और ऑफेंडिंग लैंग्वेज नहीं यूज करता एंड ऑन द अदर हैंड इफ दैट पर्सन इज लो ऑन एम्पथी देन यू मे सी दैट ही इज ओनली अवेयर ऑफ हिज ओन सिचुएशन उसको सिर्फ अपना पता है उसको सिर्फ अपनी स्किल्स एबिलिटीज के बारे में पता है उसको सिर्फ ये पता है कि उसको खाने में क्या पसंद है और वो क्या पहनता है उसको इस बात से कोई मतलब नहीं है कि बाकी लोग जो हैं वो क्या करते हैं और यूजुअली uh, इस तरह के लोग जो हैं वो आम तौर पे दूसरों को अफेंड कर देते हैं बिकॉज दे आर सो सेल्फ सेंटर्ड दैट दे आर दे यूज लैंग्वेज एंड दे यूज सच काइंड ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन विच इज ऑफेंडिंग टू अदर पीपल so if you want to see that if a person has got empathy then it is something that you can see from these particular behaviors so i have discussed two examples rest of them they are quite clear and uh, you can very easily read it from the slide that what type of behaviors may be seen to assess different dimensions and this is something that is assessed while you are evaluating a person when they are doing a role play so this topic was basically discussing the role of assessment centers and how assessment centers they evaluate the skills and abilities of a person for international assignments